Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome back. How are you? I'm trying to connect my camera. I don't know what's going on, but let me see. How are you guys? Good to see you again. How was your vacation? Did you enjoy your vacation? Hi, Mabel. Hi, Carla. Hello, Ileana. Hello, Estefania. Hello, hello, Hi, Christian. Hi, Marielos. Hi, Amilcar. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Jessica. Hello, hello, Luis. Good to see you again. Ahorita, denme un segundo, because I'm trying with the other camera that always, that I always struggle, I'm struggling with. Okay, let's see. Hello, Jaime. Hello, Marielos. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? ¿Cómo están todos? Todo Hello, good. teacher. Good evening. Good nice evening. To see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. How was your vacation? ¿Qué tal le fue? ¿Dónde fueron? Where did you go? Tell me. I go to the bedroom. I go to the bathroom. Okay, <laughs> you went the to the bathroom, you went to the kitchen, you went to the living room, you went to the garden. <laughs> I went to my bedroom <laughs> and to, to my living room and also to the kitchen. That's it. Okay, thank you. Sabrina, welcome. So I believe because it is the first class, they will join later, okay? Some of us um, or, or some of, some of uh, the participants might uh, not remember about that today is the class because it's normal, guys. It's normal after vacation or maybe after not connecting, right? Um, every single day that happens. Uh, Melin, sí, vamos a mandar el link, permítame. Creo que they are still connecting themselves. All right, one moment, guys. I'm just trying to share the link again. I believe it's the same one, but let me try. No, verdad, no es el mismo. Del que mandé, no sé por qué se manda otro. Bueno, déjeme, déjeme eliminar este que mandé. Y voy a mandar el que me mandaron normalmente a mí. URL de la conferencia. 
lista creo que ese es es el que voy a mandar ahorita Sí, ese es verdad, el que mandé. Uy, está, hay poquitos en el grupo, ¿verdad? Deme un segundo. We are ready to start. The above link. Bye guys, sorry. I believe you're still joining. Jonathan, hello, welcome. Todavía se están uniendo, ¿verdad? Creo que vamos a iniciar ahorita. Vamos a iniciar pasando la lista, guys. Um, believe me, it's a pleasure to have you here again and to see you again, guys. It's a great pleasure. Hello, Marcos. Marcos is joining. Um, placer verlo acá, verlos acá de nuevo, guys. Deme one moment. Okay. Okay, guys, so we will start today with the class, all right? Um, let's see, let me get a second. Voy a pasar la lista rapidito, guys. Porque time is over. Just let me get a second. Ok, voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Guys, let me go through the attendance list. Sorry. 
so today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday, um, April the 27th, 2022. Okay, let me, let me go through the attendance. Hello, Zulma, welcome. Let me go through the attendance list and later on we will start classes. Jessica, could you please help me to pull, uh, Jessica and Ileana, help me to place all your name please on Teams to put your full name, your full name as the ID, as the DUI, please. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jessica. Please, Ileana, could you please help me with this? Change your full name. Okay, teacher. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Okay, so let me go through the attendance list, guys. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present, teacher. Cristian Jose Lopez Perez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana El Cid. Present teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Fátima Denise is not here. Uh, Jaime Antonio Velar Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Ramírez Arevalo. Julio Cesar. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Carla. Present. Ok, thank you. Kenny Lizette Cuer de Barrientos. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Uh, Linda Magali García Montoya. Lizette del Carmen Hernández Mismith. Lizette. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Marcia Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizet García Orellana. Sabrina Lizet García Orellana. Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Surma Yarixa. Hello, Surma. Por ahí vi a Zulma y a, y a Sabrina. Ok, one moment. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Judy Alexandra Flores Parada. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Listen, teacher. Great. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for your attendance. And thank you for joining on time. Uh, let me start with the presentation that we have in every single course. We will start with the presentation, guys. Give me a second and let me open it. All right, that is the formal presentation that we have in every single course. 
So let me get a second. And by the way, I want to say congratulations because you are in beginner number five, okay? Good job, guys. I always told you that you could do it and you're here after five, um, after four courses, you are in this course number five. So congratulations, okay? Um, that's pretty much, uh, yes, congratulations. And we will start with this presentation. We are in the English for Word program in basic model number five, okay? I believe that we are not, we don't have new people right now in this class, but there are new people. I mean, there are new people, but they haven't uh, attended to the class yet. They haven't been there yet. So I hope that they can watch the video. And for the ones that watch the video later on, uh, my name is Ruth Noemi Murga Olmos. You can call me teacher Olmos, okay, let me, share the next screen i will introduce yourself i know you already know me okay but I, maybe there are gonna be more people or there are going to be more people new people that that do not know me so that's why i need to introduce myself okay so for the ones that will watch the video and obviously for you if you don't remember guys i will go ahead and tell you more about me um let me go ahead and turn uh, turn to a Spanish version, okay, to Spanish language, all right. Um, bueno, primeramente, guys, bienvenidos, okay, bienvenidos de nuevo al curso. Este es el curso eh, beginner o principiante 5, sí. Para los que ya me conocen, pues esto va a sonar un poquito repetitivo, pero estaba comentando de que hay algunos que no se han presentado, no se han unido todavía a la clase, pero luego van a ver el video. Así que pues bienvenidos de regreso a ustedes y bienvenidos a los demás para los que vean el video o la grabación de la clase. Mi nombre es Ruth Noemi Murga Olmos. Usted me puede llamar Teacher Olmos, ok, o Teacher, it's fine, o Teacher Noemi, it's fine. Um, so, voy a hablar un poquito acerca de mí, rapidito, acerca de mi formación académica. Estudié licenciatura en idioma e inglés, opción de enseñanza en la Universidad de El Salvador. Eh, obtuve un técnico operador Windows cuando estaba súper pequeña. También estudié siempre en Insafor, gracias a Dios, eh, Excel Intermedio. Y el año pasado estuve sacando una especialización de marketing estratégico digital. Um, acerca de mi experiencia laboral, puedo decir que he estado, he estado enseñando inglés desde el 2016. Gracias a Dios. Empecé en el centro de capacitación en idiomas de Café Pai. De hecho, todavía soy ahí. Gracias a Dios. He tenido experiencia en el área del call center. Empezando como representante del servicio al cliente, luego como supervisora, entrenadora y empecé en Focus El Salvador y luego me moví en Teleperformance, donde en Teleperformance sí eh, pude básicamente crecer, ¿verdad? Crecer en, el, en lo que es, ¿verdad? Eh, la, en operaciones, Así que pues sí, lo pude hacer muchísimo, eh, gracias a Dios. Luego eh, empecé a trabajar con Regal International, ¿verdad? Que es inglés corporativo. Y también, actualmente también estoy trabajando en siempre de parte del Café Pade con un proyecto de Corsatur. Así que pues eso es lo que puedo decir que es mi experiencia laboral. Y um, let me... Um, go back to the English one. Okay. So I want to say guys, um, welcome back. And I will be here for you. As I mentioned before in the previous courses, I'm not only uh, the teacher, but I'm also uh, another one, another person that is learning with you. So I can be your friend as well, guys. At the end, my purpose is that you learn. That is my purpose, that you learn. 
And here, you know that this is what we are doing every single evening, all right? Every single evening, we're trying to learn, we're doing our best. So whenever you have any questions, whenever you have any comments, you can tell me in the 101 session or you can send me a message in WhatsApp. I will be there for you guys. If you need extra practice, extra explanation, I, you know that you can count on me, okay? So um, that's pretty much it. Les estaba comentando de que si necesitan algo, ustedes saben que pueden contar conmigo. Ustedes si necesitan un repaso, una práctica más, ¿verdad? De algún tema, algún comentario de la clase, alguna pregunta. Ustedes me pueden eh, buscar en el WhatsApp. Con muchísimo gusto me mandan un video. Y les estaba comentando también de que el propósito acá es aprender. Sí, mi propósito es que ustedes aprendan. Yo poderles brindar verdad lo que es la herramienta que es muy importante ahora en día del inglés para que ustedes puedan sobresalir en sus trabajos y pues al final tratar la manera de implementar lo, la, las herramientas, las técnicas, las estrategias que se puedan para que ustedes puedan llevar a cabo ese desarrollo del idioma en las cuatro en las cuatro skills que tenemos, en las cuatro habilidades, ya sea de writing, ya sea de listening, um, speaking and reading. Sí, en las cuatro, ese es mi propósito. Así que cualquier cosa estoy más que a la orden para ustedes. No sé si hasta el momento tienen preguntas para yo continuar con la presentación el día de ahora. Déjenme ver si alguien más se ha unido. No. No, ok. <clears throat> so let me continue, guys. Ok, let me go back to Spanish language. Ok, esos son los requerimientos para poder estar en el curso, guys. Primeramente, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma, por favor. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, please. Eh, esto les comenté a finales de, INSA, de, de lo que es el otro curso, que INSAFOR está, está tratando la manera de auditar cada clase, cada video. So, créanme que sí me he dado cuenta que el hecho de participar en cada clase, de tener la cámara encendida, o sea, de estar activo en la clase, cuenta mucho, ¿verdad? Para su siguiente nivel, para su desarrollo y obviamente... ¿Verdad? Para que usted vaya pasando módulo con módulo. Así que por favor pongan mucha atención con eso porque es súper importante eh, la participación activa que de hecho es el último requisito más lo de la cámara encendida. ¿Sí? Mm, también otro requerimiento es minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Ustedes saben que en este momento estamos básicamente tendemos que tener un ambiente en el cual tenemos que estar concentrados, sí, porque estamos aprendiendo. Si usted en algún momento tiene problemas para estar en un lugar con un sonido ambiente bajo, guys, déjenmelo saber y dígame, teacher, fíjese que en este momento tengo un problema ya que en, en mi casa o en el lugar donde estoy recibiendo la clase está muy difícil recibirla. Por lo tanto, voy a tener el, el micrófono apagado porque eso puede interrumpir la clase. Pero de igual manera voy a hacer todo lo posible. Porque a veces no está en nuestras manos. Es bien difícil. Y a veces sí está ¿verdad? en nuestras manos. Porque qué. Les puedo decir un ejemplo. Usted sabe que el día de ahora. Usted se va a conectar y en su casa va a haber una fiesta. Y que va a haber un montón de música. Entonces tratemos la manera de estar en un lugar. Donde no se escuche mucho esa música. Para no interrumpir. O si usted de verdad no puede. Conéctese y ahí esté ese, ¿verdad? Trate de encender el micrófono solamente en momentos donde usted de verdad lo necesita y trate de estar participando activamente en el chat o co siempre con la cámara encendida, pero igual, dígame, teacher, ahorita no puedo encender mucho el micrófono porque hay mucha bulla y realmente no pude hacer, ¿verdad? O no pude tener otra opción, así que siempre téngame mucha comunicación con eso en el grupo o conmigo aparte. Así que eso, ayúdenme por favor a apagar, el, a apagar el micrófono cuando no se está utilizando, ¿verdad? Eso más que todo, eh, vamos a hablar acerca de la asistencia. Usted sabe que el 100% de la clase 
eh, es muy importante. La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa. Ustedes saben que los minutos acá cuentan muchísimo, ¿verdad? Para que al final del curso usted pase al siguiente curso, usted tiene que tener máximo 80% de, del doble de la asistencia. Siempre decimos el 100%, pero el, 80, el 20% que sobra es para emergencias extremas, ¿verdad? Eh, la asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones, a las 8, a las 9 y a las 9 y 55 pm o antes de las 10. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o en inglés present y tener la cámara encendida, ¿ok? Esa es. Eh, la opción que sí se nos ha dado yo entiendo que a veces ustedes están que hay momentos que ustedes me dicen teacher mira ahorita soy de listener soy de oyente porque fíjese que voy manejando o porque eso sí está pasando pero igual no se preocupe porque usted eh, usted si tiene tiempo solamente si tiene tiempo encienda su micrófono y diga presente para que eso cuente y encienda la cámara solo en ese momentito luego sigue o si no tiene la posibilidad de poder decir presente en las otras dos ocasiones, ¿ok? Pero sí, solamente esa se toma como válida. Las sesiones de uno a uno disponibles, si sí las tenemos al final de la clase, cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Si hay algún refuerzo que se pueda dar con gusto. Y los permisos no son disponibles. Ustedes saben que para eso sí somos, si sí la, la institución es más estricta, hay muchas situaciones que usted, yo siempre le digo, dígame, mándeme un mensaje, dígame qué es lo que está pasando, ¿verdad? Si usted puede, en una situación muy extrema, conectarse y estar de oyente porque tiene A o B inconveniente, déjemelo saber para que yo lo ponga en los comentarios en su asistencia. ¿Por qué? Porque siempre eh, la institución está contactándose con ustedes y preguntándole por qué no asistió a clases. ¿Por qué? Entonces, si ya falta más de un día, les están llamando. Entonces, ahí para que coordine la información que usted me manda y yo ponerlo en los comentarios o por si me preguntan a mí, para cuando usted le llamen, entonces ellos ya van a decir, ah, ok, no, es que ha estado enferma, entonces por eso estos días no se ha estado conectando, porque de verdad, de verdad, que no puede conectarse, ¿verdad? Y créanme de que este son el 20% que queda de asistencia, que son las emergencias, entonces por eso yo sé que hay situaciones de emergencia y usted me dice, tiche, pero de verdad, yo necesito... Créanme que de mi gusto fuera yo le dijera está bien, pero no, podemos, no puedo decir está bien y darle permiso, solamente puedo decir ok, entiendo la situación, trate de conectarse o, o, o entiendo la situación, gracias por decirme. Y yo lo que puedo hacer es poner el comentario o avisar a Insafor que eso, y eso está pasando. Para que entre dentro de los 20, eh, por, el porcentaje de 20, ¿verdad? Entonces, con eso, mi, corre, mi corre recomendación es Siempre hablar conmigo, comunicarse conmigo y decirme qué es lo que está pasando y yo le voy a dar mejor consejo de ver cómo le podemos hacer, pero siempre es lo importante acá, los minutos, muy importante y obviamente participar, ¿ok? Lo más que se pueda. So, eso les quería decir, no sé si hasta el momento tenemos una pregunta. Guys. Teacher, uh, oh, sí, ya uh, acabo de leer su mensaje, no se preocupe. Sí, y también me costó conectarme porque me decía que no estaba inscrita, por eso entré hasta esta hora. Oh my God, otra sorry, vez, Mike, sí. de verdad. Sí. Vaya, May, ahorita le estoy mandando un mensajito, oye. Ok, bueno. Vale. Vamos a seguir entonces, que tienen preguntas con por el momento. No, ok. Next. 
Ok, vamos a hablar acerca de las tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas, guys, y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Eh, para llegar a ese 80% usted sabe de que no es muy complicado porque nuestro propósito es como le digo de nuevo es que usted aprenda así que pues usted puede hacer todas las veces que quiera los, las tareas y las evaluaciones hasta que tenga un mayor, una mayor nota ¿verdad? un mayor score en todas las tareas cada clase hay una tarea así que pues tratemos de, de, de irlas eh, completando para no acumularlas las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase, como les mencionaba. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. En este caso, guys, como nosotros empezamos miércoles, sería cada viernes antes de la medianoche, ¿ok? Para que este registro sea enviado a Instafor semanalmente. Entonces sería cada miércoles. Sorry, ya lo voy a, a modificar ahí. La fecha límite para terminar el examen eh, medio, el midterm, es el martes 10 de mayo, antes de la medianoche. Exactamente, déjenme ver, sí, martes, exactamente, la segunda semana. Cuando se termina la segunda semana de este curso es cuando usted tiene que tener completo el midterm exam. Uh, la fecha límite para terminar el examen final. El final exam es el miércoles 25 de mayo, es el día que finalizamos este curso antes de la medianoche. El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma, no se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Yo les voy a mandar eh, el material ahorita. Guys. Para los que no tienen el manual se lo voy a mandar ahorita. Al grupo. Y también lo pueden descargar de la plataforma. Vaya, ahí se los mandé. Guys. Ok, let's continue. ¿Preguntas hasta el momento? Y como último, eh, guys, acerca de la plataforma Zoom, recuérdense que tenemos el botón de silencio o el mute, ¿verdad? Para cuando no estemos participando, queremos evitar que se escuche algún ruido. Eh, la cámara debe de estar encendida, como les estaba comentando. El chat lo vamos a ocupar muy constantemente para la participación. Vamos a tener breakout rooms en los cuales vamos a participar, ya sea en pareja, en grupos, ¿verdad? Y tenemos el botón de Ask for Help en caso que usted necesita una asistencia de parte de, mi, de parte de mi persona. Así que pues eso les quería comentar. Eh, no sé si hasta el momento tienen preguntas acerca de eso, guys. Preguntas, comentarios. No. Ok, denme un segundo, les comparto la otra diapositiva para que podamos iniciar con la clase del día de ahora. Ok, here we have. So let's switch to the English language, okay? From now on, we will try to keep the class in English, guys, because we are in beginner number five, all right? It's time to us to practice more and more English. So that's why we're trying to keep the class in English, all right? English environment. So the topic for today's class, for today's class is words to make steps in progress. Uh, this is the class number one, so we will start, but before to start, we will play a game so we can know each other, and the game that we will play is two truths and a lie. We will share two truths about yourself and a lie, sorry, and a lie, okay, a lie with the class. The class will guess what the lie is, all right, so the two, two truths about yourself 
and one line, okay? For example, I will share my two truths and one line, and you will guess what is the lie, okay? So let me start. Um, oh my God, you know me very well, so it's gonna be difficult. Um, oh, I got one. Let me think about it. Vamos a, vamos a, todos, everyone, guys, let's think about two truths and one lie, okay? Two truths. Dos verdades de ustedes y una mentira. No diga cuál es la mentira and don't say the truth. We are the ones that will guess what is the lie. De los tres que usted diga, nosotros vamos a adivinar cuál es la mentira, okay? So, Let's think about this. We have, uh, let's see, five minutes to think about this, okay? Five minutes, five minutes to think about the two truths and one line. Five minutes to think. I'm trying. Okay, guys, so I'm ready. Are you ready? I got my, my, my truth and my lies. <laughs> my truth and my lies. I got them. <laughs> Are you ready? Should I start? Yes? Okay. So I will start. Um, let me go with the three, okay? Guys, pay attention to the body language. <laughs> pay attention to the body language, okay? I mean, I'm bad of this. I'm bad at uh, uh, doing this, but I will try. Remember, you will, sorry, 
You will guess what is the lie. Guess what is the lie. Me va a adivinar cuál es la mentira que dice. Okay. Number one. Um, I look like my mother. Number one. I look like my mother. Number two. I am going to give birth to twins. I am going to get birth to twins. Twins. And number three, I studied fashion design. I studied fashion design. Let me repeat again the three, okay? One, I look like my mother. Two, I am going to give birth to twins. And three, I studied fashion design. What is the lie? The number three. The number three. The number two. Number three and number two. Number three. I studied fashion design, number three. Yes. Okay. Um, sorry, give me a moment. Mabel said that is a number two, the lie, right? So what do you think, guys? Julio, welcome. Ayúdeme a ponerle todo su nombre, Julio, please. So, you said that the lie is that I studied fashion design or Mabel said that I'm lying when I say that I am going to give birth to twins, right? So what about the other ones? What do you think? Guys, participate. If not, let's put it on the chat. Póngalo en el chat cuál es la mentira, which is the, the lie. Julio, we are playing two truths and one lie. Piense en dos verdades suyas y una mentira. No la diga. Solamente diga las tres oraciones y nosotros vamos a saber cuál es la mentira suya. En In inglés, ¿ok? Y ayúdeme a poner todo su nombre completo, please. Ok. Let me repeat again. Solo escucho a tres participando. I look like my mother. Number one. Number two. I am going to give birth to twins. And number three, I studied fashion design. What is the light? Christian said number three. Jaime said number three. And Mabel said number two. ¿Qué piensan los demás? Carla, Marcos, Kenny, Amilcar, Zulma, Amin Number uh, three. Number three. Okay. Yes. Estefanía. Jonathan. Kenny, Luis, Luis, come on. Number three, teacher. Number three. Number three. Number three. Yeah, I okay, I will say, I will say what are my truth, my truth, okay? I look like my mother. Number one. I look like my mother, that's true. And it's true that I studied fashion design. I studied fashion design for, for one yes. year. Mabel, you won. It's not true. I'm not going to give birth to twins. I will, I will, I will give birth to one according to the to the studio, right? That this that the doctor <laughs> provided me. So the lie is I'm not going to give birth to twins. It's just one. <laughs> One. Si Dios me quiere dar otro, pues it's fine. Pero I just have one right now. Okay? Very good, Mabel. <laughs> okay, Mabel, you're the next one. The winner. <laughs> ¿Para qué dice okay. Mabel? <laughs> okay. I'm, I like to write histories, poems, and novels. This is number one. Number two... I work at UCA like a teacher. Number three, I'm a study engineer, industrial engineer in at uh, US. Could you please repeat the number two? Sorry, Mama. I'm going to. I I work at UCA like a teacher. 
What do you think, guys? Number one, she loves writing poems, stories. Number two, she is a teacher at UTCA. UTC, at UCA. And she is a studying industrial engineer at US. What is the lie? Come on, guys. What is the lie? Mm -hmm. Repeat the first. First, she loves writing poems and stories, right? Writing. Okay. She loves writing. She's a teacher at UCA and she's a studying industrial engineer at US. What do you think is the lie? Number three. Number three? Guys, what do you think? I believe the lie is the number two. What about the other ones? Iliana, what is the lie? Iliana? Iliana, what is the lie? What is la mentira? Number two. Number two, okay. Iliana? Iliana? Julio, what is the lie? Iliana y Julio, ayúdame a cambiar su nombre, porfa. Pongan su nombre completo, please. Estefanía, what is the lie? What is Mabel's lie? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Mabel, could you please tell us what is the lie? Jaime, wait, wait a minute. Jaime, what is the lie? I believe the uh, number two. Number two is the lie. Okay. What do you think? I mean, what is the what is the lie, Mabel? Yes, it's number two. Number two. Ooh, okay, we won. <laughs> Thank you, Mabel. Okay, Jaime, you're the next one. Why? <laughs> Because <laughs> I mean, because we 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 lie your participation. That's right. That that's the okay. truth. That's the truth. <laughs> that is that's true. Okay. That is the truth. Um, number one, I like dance. Okay. Number two, uh, I am a teacher in a escuela bilingüe Macleeswood. Mm -hmm. And number three. I teach karate in a, at the school. Oh my God. What do you think is the lie, guys? What is the lie here? I think number one. Number one is a lie. Okay. What about the other ones? Number two. Number two. He's a teacher. Okay, number one, he likes dancing. Number two, he's a teacher in Machilis was a school. Number three, he's a teacher, karate teacher. Number three. Number three. Okay, I believe it's number one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jaime, what is the what is the lie? The number one. The number one. Ooh, I won! I won! <laughs> Great. Okay, Luis, you got go go next. Okay. I I work in a coating. 
Okay. If, mm -mm. I finish my my uh, cover in 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 I marry it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He is an accountant. He finished his career, right? And number three, he is married. Mm. What do you think, guys? Number three. Number three. For me, it's number, number three. three. Number However, three. number one and two, they are weird because they are the opposite, but maybe. maybe yes, it could be. But yes, number three is the is the is the lie. What is what 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 is a lie, Luis? Number three. <laughs> number three, okay. Very good. Uh huh. Okay. No, I I confuse myself actually with the number one and two. It's true. It's fine. Sorry. So Let's go to the next one. Uh, who's the next one? Marcos Antonio Melgar Perez. Let's go with, with yours, okay? With your lies and with your truth. I see. Of course, no. Pero casi no la escuchamos, Marcos. We can hear you. No la escuchamos. Hello. 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 You listen to me? Now, yes, sir. We hear you better. Okay. Um... I start, teacher. Go for it. Okay. I eat after the class. I love the weather grinding. I take a shower at all night. Sorry, oh. Marcos. I'm I'm writing them. <laughs> Every number night. Three. What is a number two again? <clears throat> number two is I know the weather. Rainy. Oh, raining weather, right? Yes. Okay. So number one, did you say did you teach after after the class? Teach? Eat. I eat. You eat. Ah, oh, sorry. Yes. I you eat. eat after the class. Marcos eats after the class. Yeah. He loves raining weather. Or yeah. he takes a shower every every day. Every night. Every night, right? Every night. Avila number three. <laughs> <laughs> number three is the lie. Number three is the lie, teacher. Number three is the lie, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, guys, I'm the winner. <laughs> Take showers every night. You know, I know you very well, guys. Wow. That's a good teacher. The ones that knows you very well, guys. Yeah. Okay. I have... Uh, I have been the winner with all of your statements. Let's see, okay? Let's put, let's, let's go to the next level, all right? Let's see. 
Now I believe this is a challenge, okay? That's a challenge for me to know you more. So let's see, Marco, choose the next person. Mr. Cristian. Ajá, Cristian. Okay. I like to get early. I love to drink coffee. I take a shower three or four times a day. Could you please repeat the number one? I like to, to get up early. I love to drink coffee. I take a shower three or four times a day. Number two. Number three. Number one. Number Guys, two. that is difficult. Number this two. is difficult. Number one. Number three. Number two. <laughs> this is difficult. This is difficult for me. Okay, let me think about this. Number one. Number one. <laughs> no, it's the number two. The number two? You don't like coffee? No. Oh. I, I don't drink coffee. I fail. I fail. Get out. Get out. <gasps> Luis. <laughs> Jaime, dígale algo. Hello. <laughs> Something. Something. <laughs> oh, I fell with you, Christian. You're a morning person and you don't like coffee. That's weird, but yes, it's fine. Because, I mean, I drink coffee, but I don't like it a lot like the other people normally love coffee. <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't like it so much. I mean, I drink coffee, but it's not like oh, I love coffee. Do, but do you drink coffee, Christian? Yes, I drink coffee, but once in a while. Mm. I got your point. Okay, very good. Because of the time, let's go to the last participant. And I hope that tomorrow there are more participants to continue with this activity, okay? So because of the time, we will end until right now, until the last participant wishes now. And then we will continue. I mean, tomorrow we will continue with the activity once we have more participants. So Christian, choose the next person, the last one for tonight. See, let me see with the next victim. Victim, uh huh. Victim, who's the next victim? Hmm. It's difficult. Marco Hamilton. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, go for it. America. Okay. Um, I take a shower in the night. I marry it. I like drink Coca Cola. Oh my God. The number one. I believe is the number, the number one that you take a shower at night, right? Okay. Yes, it's the number one. What do you think, yes. guys? Jaime, Marielos, Sulma, Jarixa, Kenny, Carla. Sabrina. Uh-huh. Yeah, number one. Three. Okay. Three, one. Okay. Ah. Kenny. One. Hmm. Which one is the correct one, I mean, God? Um is the two. Number two. I mean, which one is the, the lie? Which one is the lie? Number two. Number two. Yes. I what was the number two? two? Oh my god. <laughs> El tocayo winner. Yeah. Marcos, I, what I, was the number two? Oh my god. Yes, yes, teacher. I believe number two. I say. 
No, my question is, what was it? What was the number two? I married. Yeah. No, okay. But you said that you said that I am married or you said that I am not married? I, I mean, am I, married. I am not married. Okay, you're not married? Not married. No. <gasps> He's not married. Teacher. Really? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were married. <gasps> that was a good one. Okay. 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 Estaba difícil. Wow. Another fail. <laughs> Another fail for me. <laughs> okay. Very good. So, guys, we will continue with this activity next class tomorrow. Okay. Once we have more participants. So I hope you like it and we will continue. We will start with the class. But before starting with the class, we will go and we'll go through the attendance list again. Okay. Let me get a second. All right. So let's see. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Loreana El Cid. Present teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Kenny Lizette uh, Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Lizette del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizet García Orellana. Surma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Sorry, Judy Alexandra Flores Parada. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Ok. Deme un segundito, please. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Que me fue un momento, pero there were two situations here. One, one was the sound 
and the other one was the smell. <laughs> so sorry, the smell and the sound. There was a background sound, there, there was a background noise, and the other one, there was a really awful smell for me. <laughs> okay, so let's continue down. Thank you, Julio. Thank you, Ileana, for changing your names. Let me continue sharing this screen. Okay, here you have. Okay, guys, so um, we will listen how the teacher reads a conversation in the page number nine. Please open your course book, open your manual on page number nine and practice in pairs later on, okay? So let me stop sharing because we will have a reading practice right now. Tenemos un reading practice. Allow me just a second and I will open it. Okay, okay, so we will uh, go with the, to the page number nine. Open the page number nine, please. Page number nine. And we have this conversation here, okay? We have this conversation. So, uh, first of all, I will read this conversation. Okay, in order for you to learn the pronunciation, okay? Pronunciation of the words. The second time that I will read the, the conversation is for, for you to listen to the fluency. Fluency and pauses, okay? The pauses, las pausas que yo hago, and the fluency, okay? So, First time pronunciation of the word, second time fluency. All right, so are you ready? Listen right now and then you will practice, okay? Okay, so Anna and Mark. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add the thick layer on of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slide almonds. Sounds great. And then finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat, eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We considered those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Now listen again and you will hear the fluency and the pauses, okay? Mar, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slide almonds. Sounds great. 
And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look, okay? Now do me a favor and let's repeat after me guys. And then we will make some breakout rooms for you to repeat them, for you to practice, okay? First, repeat and second practice in pairs. Repeat after me. Mar, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Mar, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we made our top seller. Absolutely. This is this how, is how we, make we make our, our top, seller. top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. First, we add a we thick add layer, of, layer chocolate. of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Second, Second we, we add, add a layer, 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 layer of, of sliced almonds. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. And mm -hmm. then? So, and then, and then, and then. finally, we add ginger. Finally, finally we add ginger. ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? But what about people, so what about people, people who are diabetic? Are diabetic? Can, they can they eat, eat it? it? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. I'm not, I'm not going, going to lie. lie. I'm I'm the amount of sugar, sugar is, too is too high. We can see there the, those customers and we have other products. We consider, we consider it customers, customers and we customers. have other products. And we have other products. <laughs> we have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. We have, we have a candy bar, bar a bubble gum, and zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Great, Great. Great. Let's, let's take a look. look. Great, guys. Now we will uh, create some breakout rooms. Let me share with you this conversation, okay? And we will practice this conversation in pairs. Uh, with the best pronunciation that you can and with the best fluency that you can. I mean, at the end, you will try to go ahead and uh, practice it the way that you listen right now, okay? Practice it. If you hear any kind of mistake in the pronunciation of fluency, guys, you can correct your classmate, okay? Remember, we are learning. So I just want to make sure about who's, who are the listeners today. <clears throat> Sabrina, Maki. Julio, are you at home right now? I don't know if you're at home. I don't know about Julio. Okay. And then we have whales. Okay. Ileana, could you hear us? Nos puede escuchar, Ileana. Okay, Carla as well. Vaya. Eh, tengo acá las personas que no pueden participar por algún motivo, guys. O so voy a hacer los breakout rooms. Give me a moment. Deme un segundo, guys.
Ok, guys, ya lo estoy uniendo. Please click on join. Click on join, please, guys. Click on join. Tell and click on join, please. Jonathan, Kenny, click, click on join, please. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Eh, Entonces. Vale. Empezamos a practicar otra vez. Otra vez. Eh, Mar, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This this is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced salmon. Among. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? The book is in the chat. Ah, okay. Yes. Hey, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, Jonathan is driving. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry, teacher. No, 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 it's fine. Jonathan, I didn't know. At this time, always I, I have to break to, to, oh, to okay. drive to my home because it's the time that. Oh, okay, okay. To, come to my home, so I'm sorry. Not a problem, it's fine. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, déjeme ver si Liana tal vez nos escucha porque dijo que no nos escuchaba. Ella nos queda ahorita. Jaime, a ver qué, qué tal. Hoy. Okay. Thank you for letting me know number four. No worries, But... teacher. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm sorry. Not a problem, no worries, Jonathan. Jonathan. I didn't no know. No sabíamos, okay? Pero que me dijo. 
Ok, ok, vamos a practicar con Eliana entonces, Jaime. Sí. Ok. Thank you. <coughs> oh, no. Hello. <laughs> Did you finish? Uh, yes, yes it's Ok, so. I'll be back. Ya regreso, entonces solo voy a verificar los demás. Mark. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slate and almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo vamos? Did you finish? No, teacher. I, I, I not the picture in my cell phone. You, you, you didn't. You don't have the picture. No, teacher. You, you can agree to WhatsApp me. No tiene el WhatsApp. No. No, está, no está agregado en el grupo. Le voy a mandar el link. Deme un segundo. Marcos ya leo la, el link. Ya eh, se lo mandé. Sí, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita lo estoy recibiendo. Bye, perfecto. Ya lo busco. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Practiquen, guys. Practice, practice. Estoy en el grupo. Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of science almond. Some grip um, them. Finally, we end junior. Um, but what about people? We are the the other the other diabetic 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 mm -hmm. diabetic. Sí, ya lo tengo. Okay, let's start. Eh, iniciamos. Sí. Yo soy Ana, usted Mark. Ok. Ok. Mark, ¿cómo to explain use why the manufacturing process is? E? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, 
we add a thin layer of the chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of the slime almond. A song wheat and tea. Finally, we add a, a ginger. Eh, Diana, yo sería Diana. ¿o? Sí. Okay. What, what about people to we consider those customers and we have other products? We have a candy bar and bubbly gum. We eat few sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Anna. Uh huh. Uh, Changer, I am Anna. Okay. Uh, Mark, would you explain you what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of light almonds. So great. And then? Uh, uh, fin finally. Hello, hello guys. Did you finish? Let's see. I know that some of you finished faster than the other ones, but some of you guys did not have the, the, the manual or they were not in the WhatsApp group. So there were different situations why uh, they couldn't finish early, okay? So let's see, give me a second and let me share the screen. Do you see the screen, guys? Okay, perfect. Guys, I want to ask you if there is a new word in the in the conversation. Is there any new word, guys? Alguna nueva palabra? For me, is ginger. Top seller. Ginger. Yeah. Top seller. Okay. Is there anyone who knows what ginger is? Alguien que nos explique qué es ginger? In English. Someone that know what ginger is? No? No. Parece el nombre de perro. Ginger. No. It's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. It is a um, uh, jengibre. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. What about top seller?
seller is vendedor. Top seller? Seller? Like the best product. The, the product oh. uh, with ma more... More sales. Sell. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Good job. Is the product that you sell more, right? The top seller product. El más vendido, oh, okay. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Top yeah, seller. Yeah, Another yeah. one, guys? Yeah, very teacher. Thin layer. Thick layer. Yeah, thick? Very... Thick layer and thin. Yes. Thick. Thin layer. Okay, thick. Thick is thin like layer. that. Thick. Okay, thick. And thin is like that. Thick and thin. Yeah, and layer yeah, is like, oh my god. The layer Kappa? Is uh -huh. da, Kappa. Da, Kappa. So, thick layer and thick layer. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, I'm looking. Okay, here we have. That is, that is thick. Thick. Okay, thick. And this is thin, delgado, grueso, okay? <clears throat> Any other question, guys? What is that? Oh, okay. I got it. Russia, Russia. Is You're it right storm? Right. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. If they take to where the signal of the Wi-Fi <laughs> oh my God. Where is that? Donde es eso? <laughs> no, okay, guys. Yeah, yeah, very I don't know, guys. <laughs> okay, do me a favor, guys. Let's, <laughs> uh, let's answer the two questions here. What are the words more used to indicate the parts of the manufacturing process? And what are the negative sides of Mars product? Answer the questions based on the on the conversation, please. And yes, that's pretty much what we'll do. Answer the questions and let me get a second and let me drink water really quick. Okay, number one, what are the words Mark used to indicate the parts of manufacturing process, guys? First, second, and finally. First, second, and finally. Very good. What about the number two? The people, the diabetic people can, can eat this product. Uh-huh, diabetic people can eat the product, right? Good job. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, um, we will go ahead and uh, stop sharing this screen and let me share the other screen. And today we will learn the sequence, sequency words, okay? This is the topic for today is we will learn about the sequency words. Guys, the sequency words are words that we use in a text, in a paragraph, in a story, in a recipe uh, that gives you an order or 
the order of the actions or the steps of a procedure, okay? A steps of, of a procedure or the order of the actions, okay? <clears throat> you can use them in stories, you can use them in steps of a process, uh, and indication and instructions. You can use them in the recipes, okay? Whenever you're cooking, this is basically where you use it, okay? And also in the written, uh, written English, okay? In writing, you use them a lot, the sequence words. So we have here, uh, the ones that we use at the beginning of the sentences or at the beginning of the, of the text or the paragraph, okay? For example, we have in the beginning, first of all, once upon a time, like whenever you are uh, telling a story, you say once upon a time. One day, first, firstly, to begin to start once. Do me a favor, guys, and repeat after me, okay? Those are the words that we use at the beginning of a text, at the beginning. Repeat after me. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. First of all. First, first of, of all. all. Once upon a time. Once, once upon, upon a time. time. One day. One day. One day. First, first, first. Firstly. 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 To begin, to, to begin, begin, to start, to start, to start once, once, and here we have the ones that are in the middle, okay? The sequence of words that are in the middle, we have soon, soon, soon meanwhile, 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 then, 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 then after that, after, after that, that, third, third, third thirdly, third, and, and, and in addition, in addition, addition also, also, also later, 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 after. After, after, before, before, before next, 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 second, second, secondly, secondly, furthermore, furthermore, consequently, consequently, moreover, moreover. Another. Another. Those are the ones that we use in the middle. But we use as well some words that are for interruption or whenever something happens unexpected, okay? Something that we don't expect happens. For example, we have suddenly. 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 De repente, right? Suddenly. All of a sudden. All of the sorry. Bad Dan. Bad Dan. Bad Dan. Bad Dan. And then we have the ones that we use them in the ending. And whenever you're saying a story at the end, you use those words, or whenever you're finishing with the recipe, etc., or with the instructions, you use finally. 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 At last. At last. At last. In conclusion. In conclusion. conclusion. To summarize. To summarize. After all. After all. By the end. By the end. At the end. At the end. At the end, at the end Afterwards, afterwards, in the end, in the end, end lastly, 
Lastly, by this point, by, by this point, point eventually, eventually, and those are the sequence of words, guys. Okay, so, um, I will ask you to please do me a favor and try to uh try to look or try to guess for the meanings of those words okay si no se sabe los meanings of the words tratan de um de adivinar qué es lo que puede hacer okay esa actividad es un poquito diferente a las que normalmente hacemos pero si sí les voy a pedir que hagamos esto tómense unos cinco minutos ahorita para revisar las palabras. Eh, para los que no, las palabras que no sabían, búsquenlas en el diccionario ahorita. Pregúntele a su compañero, pregúntenos a nosotros o búsquela, googleela simplemente, las, las pone a la par o los copia en un cuaderno. Sí. O si no, trate de, de, de adivinarlas, porque a veces eso funciona mucho adivinar las palabras, yo creo que es esta, dice usted, y después me va preguntando, ¿sí? o nos van preguntando, así que hagamos esto ahorita, guys five minutes, you have five minutes to do it, ok, cinco minutos para hacer oh. les mandé esa imagen ahorita, guys, al grupo so you have them, ok Mm -hmm. Let me make it bigger. Bye. I lost it, guys. There you have them, okay?
Okay, guys, time is over. Let's see. Do you have any new word? Tienen una nueva palabra que la intentaron buscar y no, you didn't understand it, or you want to clarify a word? Tuvieron el tiempo para buscarla, de verdad? Guys? Too many new words, teacher. Too many? Not too much. No, too many. Ajá, <laughs> uh <-huh>, too many. <laughs> So what do you think, guys? Good, good, good evening, by the way. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, everyone. I was in a meeting and I was... It's uh, fine. de camino, pero ya estoy aquí. Okay, do not worry about it. Ready to find. Ready? Ready to find. Sabrina, you ready to fight? <laughs> ready to uh, fight. Yes, I am here. <laughs> yes, I am here. <laughs> so, guys. Dos semanas aburrido. Ah, let's. <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> so, guys. Dígame una palabra. Maybe you don't know. Or anything I can help you with the words. O lo buscaron. No. Furthermore, furthermore, furthermore. I think the same. Furthermore. Furthermore. Mm. Anyone that can help us with that word? Alguien que lo haya buscado, alguien que nos diga. Furthermore. Uh huh. Nobody. Nobody look for the word. Come on, guys. Furthermore. Furthermore is like also, okay? Also, furthermore are the, are the same. Además, okay? Another one, guys? Suddenly. Suddenly. Uh, suddenly, suddenly repentinamente. And all of a sudden, de repente. Suddenly, repentinamente, and all of a sudden, uh, de repente. But then? I have one. Pero luego? But then? Pero luego? Mm -hmm. Yes, go after, for it, Jonathan. After word? After word. Ajá. ¿Alguien que me ayude con eso? After word? <gasps> Guys, no la buscaron. I am arriving now, so I'm sorry. No, 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 no. A los demás les digo que no nos ayudaron a buscarlo. Afterward. Yo, yo, yo venía de copiloto. De ellos. <laughs> ah. No, afterward, guys, es uh, después. Después. Exactly. Afterward. Another one. Pero afterward se ocupa ya para cuando usted vaya a finalizar un, alguna oración. Perdón. Un paragraph, un párrafo, ¿ok? O algo que vaya a finalizar, no se puede poner en medio, sino que hasta el final. ¿No? Ok, guys, so, look. Let me stop sharing and let me go back to the uh, to the book. Vamos a irnos al libro, sí. And we will go ahead and just read this, okay? Here we have first, second, third, then later, after, right after, next, and finally. Right. This is that. This is the steps of for making a recipe, okay? The steps for making a recipe. So I will ask you to help me to read this. I will ask uh, Mabel, could you please help me to read uh, this text, Mabel? This one. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. First, second, third, then, later, after, 
right after, next, finally. Examples. First, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Second, separately, combine flour, flour, baking powder, and salt. Third, combine both mixture with milk. Uh, later, child for one hours, hours. After, roll the mixture to about a quart inch thick. Next, cut cookies. Finally, bake for 10 minutes. Very good, thank you, Mabel. Okay, so here, guys, we have an example of a context or how would you be able to apply the sequency words? This is a recipe, a recipe. You can use the sequency words in this recipe, okay? This is just an example. Here we have the description of the top selling product of chocolate factory in El Salvador, okay? So let's see. Below, you will find the steps to produce this product. We will compare with the classmates. In order for you to see the steps to produce this product, guys, we will do it next class. But right now, we will read them all, okay? Lo vamos a leer. Jaime, could you please help me to, the, to read Dark Chocolate Espresso? Okay. Dark Chocolate Espresso. Made with our smooth dark chocolate and chuck of our organic espresso beans. Get your chocolate and coffee fix uh, all at once with this delicious treat, $2. Okay, it costs $2, right? So let's see. Luis, could you please help me to read this? We condense French whole milk. And then let's try to read three steps. Then Marcos Antonio Melgar, you read three more steps. And then Jonathan, you read three more steps. Jonathan, are you ready? Sorry, que I didn't answer. Hello? Are you ready? No? Uh, so uh, what paragraph I have to read? Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see the number. Seven, eight, uh, from the mill until tempering, okay? Sorry. Okay. okay. But After... right now, sorry, sorry. Jonathan, sorry. Luis, me va a ayudar con esos tres, and then Marcos will help us with the other three. And then you, Jonathan. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Go, uh, Luis. We condense fresh wool milk. We process top quality cocoa beans. Uh, to produce the cocoa mass. We produce a rich cream, creamy, chocolate liquid. Marcos, very good, thank you. We add sugar to the consistent milk with some of the cocoa mass. The cocoa mass goes and strain to the factories in La Unión, Dr. Santana. We cook? Uh, we cook this ingredient together. Very good, Jonathan, thank you. The milk evaporates to make milk chocolate cream. We mix cream with cocoa liqueur and coffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavoring. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumb through a pink mill. Chocolate will undergoes the final special product stage, refining, coaching, and tempering. Very good, guys. Thank you. So, guys, tomorrow we will read the steps again and we will try to. Um, Try to go ahead and order the products, okay? 
So that's pretty much what we'll do. Order the, the, the steps of this product, which is the dark chocolate espresso. And then we will compare with the classmates, but we'll do, we, we will do it together, okay? So guys, because of the time, we will stop right here. And Angela Estefania se encuentra acá. Are you there, Angela Estefania? Okay, uh, Christian, uh, let's see, Christian Jose Lopez Perez, can you stay with me today in the class, in the one-on-one -on -one session? Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Let me go through the attendance list, and uh, we we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining the class. Okay, thank you for your participation and your support. We we'll see you tomorrow from 8 to 10. Okay, be, be on class, guys. Don't miss classes, okay? Uh, Angel Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present teacher. Present. Angel Estefania, mañana se queda conmigo, please, en el 101. Uh, Estela Mabel Orellana del CID. Present Chris. teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present good evening, good night. Good night, take care. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher, good night. Good night, take care guys. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio. Julio César, are you there, Julio César? Julio César. Thank you. Um, Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Kevin Present. Collar de Barrientos. Thank you. Present teacher. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Bye. Take care. Lisa del Carmen Hernández Bye. Miss Smith. Luis Ernesto Come García. Present teacher. Marcos Amir Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Good Marielo night. Janet. Nice good night. <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Good night. Good night. Take care. So much, Erixa Oliva Cordova. Present. Good night. Good night. Take care, Erixa. Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Judy Alexandra Flores Parada. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Okay, guys, have a wonderful night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye, America. Bye, Kenny. Bye, Linda. Hello, hello, Christian. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine as well. I would like to ask you something. Did you finish with the course that you told me? Last time? Yeah. Yes, I finally maybe four weeks. No, 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 no. Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. How do you feel now? <laughs> yes. Do you feel I, better? I feel I feel better. You feel better. I Did you learn a lot? lot? Yeah. I feel Free. Uh -huh, you feel free. Yeah. But at least you you enjoy three weeks um being free because you didn't have classes and you didn't have the, the course, right? So you feel free. Yeah. But uh before the course I have two two weeks of vacation. Wow. I wish I have more vacations. This, right this week or or this week or this Monday was the first day before 
vacation. That's why you feel so relaxed, Christian. Now you feel relaxed. Yes. But previous cars, you feel, yeah, I mean, you uh, seem to be stressed, very stressed. Um, yes. You were so stressful. I mean, I saw you at that time and I knew you was stressful. But now you feel relaxed. I mean, I, I can feel that you, 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 you are relaxed right you seem to be relaxed you look like that so uh that's good and congratulations to know that you finished your course thank you so because of this christian don't don't forget to continue participating in the class okay because we miss you the previous class but christian i would like to ask you um how do you feel with the classes uh, what can you tell me about the, your learning process? Because your learning process should be higher and higher and higher every single course, right? So I would like to know about this. What do you think about this learning process regarding English skill? And what is the part that you feel that is difficult now for you? The, the process for learning in this academy is very is is very well i like i like the process i like the teacher i like the class but i don't know how to say but i that only mm, i don't know for me but i don't know uh, uh one observation is in in any class, I think I don't use 100% uh, of the time because the, the partner, I more ask in Spanish, uh, I ask the, the same, the same, the same, the same. It for me, it's, it's boring. I don't know. I understand but you. It, it's like you are but not- But it's difficult, but, but uh -huh. for me, it's difficult. It's difficult, I don't know, it's hard. decirlo, expresarlo, mm. because because it is part of uh, is part of the the learning of process the, of the learning process. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I don't know. For example, I I look uh, Jaime, I look Marcos, I look any other partner. Uh, had uh, we had progress in the course. But I, as other partners, don't progress. I ask the, the ask the same, uh, the same topic. Uh, every day, ask the same topic. <laughs> no, and I understand it, your point. It's but in 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 any case, for example, in a, in a break room, I have to work with with any of the partners is I don't get practice because she is a liar. Or they are they are speaking in Spanish, right? And that's an, yeah. that doesn't allow you to continue um, growing up. That's the word, because what, yeah, what happens example, is that you stop growing up. The past, the past model, the, the model four, I have a, a stress for the course. A stress for 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 my work. He, he, I was a stress for the partner. Really, I the last week. I I don't I don't know. No quería seguir. You didn't want to continue. Yes, in, in the last week. Ah, the last, the last week, week you didn't I, want to continue. Yes, you look yeah. like that, Christian. You look like that. I noticed that, I noticed that. And I noticed, you haven't told me this before, but I noticed it a lot of times, Christian. Because this is not happening just, for, just with you. This is happening with more students in this course. And it is happening, and it happens with, I mean, with more students in another courses. That happens a lot. And it is because sometimes 
your learning speed is not the same as the other ones. And sometimes you're learning, uh, I mean, your English background is not the same as the other one. And to be honest with you, uh, for us as a teacher, it's difficult as well. It's difficult, difficult in a way that, okay, in my case, I'm so patient with that. God helped me <laughs> a lot and give me gives me a lot of patience because I'm not a I'm not a patient person. But God uh, gives me a lot of patience for teaching, and I always do my best, and I'm okay. And sometimes, believe me, there are many challenges in my job that sometimes um uh, or my boss tell me, you know what? Now you have a, a, a student and he is from zero. And maybe I have an, in, no, not an intermediate, but a basic three or a basic that is almost in the, in the, in the intermediate. And you need to put it in the same page as the other one. That is difficult. That is difficult. And not only for me, I mean, I believe that for me is less difficult than for my students because my students know the level that they are they know where they are and sometimes that made me feel um frustrated because of how my students will feel because of this just in mind because i know that feeling the one that you are you are having right now so Christian, I thank you very much for your patience and for your time. I know it's not um, easy. And to be honest with you, what I do whenever I do have this kind of situations is that I find a support on you. I find a support on, on, on Sabrina. I find a support on Jaime, etc. right? You are the ones that help me with that. And at the end, these people learn or either they learn or either they don't continue with the course. And that happens in that course a lot. The sometimes they don't continue or sometimes they continue and they are improving. Sometimes they are improving as low and sometimes they are improving a lot. But this is what happens every single, uh, I mean, everywhere, everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, this is happening, but in this course, my purpose, Christian, is to start full English as much as I can because I, I cannot stop right now. You are in beginner five. I cannot stop. In the previous courses, it was okay. I could do it because you were from the beginner one, two, three, and four, but in five, I cannot stop. That's why since you, I don't know if you noticed at the very beginning, I'm keeping in the, in, I'm keeping the English environment and this is what I will do. At the beginning, I didn't do it because the program allowed me to do it and because I didn't want to make them feel, um, let's see, a stress or I didn't want to desesperate them. So they leave the course because it's difficult. You're just beginning and the the program give me the option for me to speak in spanish i will do it because they say we can do it but there are courses that no english no english at all right since the very beginning but it works it works and now i believe that there are no chances to go back so i believe that this course will be different on this and I believe that you and the other ones that feel like you are feeling right now will like see the difference on that. And I hope that you can continue growing up the way that you should be growing up. Okay, so I hope that. That is my purpose basically for you guys because you have been doing great. You have um, doing your effort, you have done your effort and you deserve it. You deserve that. So we will start doing this exactly from this course. So I'm sorry for the other ones that says that they don't want to uh, listen uh, English all the time, but we will do it. I understand to, to have to speak Spanish in, 
in a yes, moment. Yes, like in, in a moment, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. But but for but for me, in 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 a moment, it's necessary to to I don't know to to hear in Spanish because. Sometimes I, I it's confuse, valid. I understand. Yes. Exactly. Sometimes but it's valid. The, the, the problem, no, the problem isn't to speak Spanish. The problem is to partner us the same, the same, the same. For me, that that's one of the problem to continue speaking in Spanish. Like I really need to increase the English level. That's it. But regarding the questions, believe me that sometimes it's difficult, Christian, because I don't know if you have noticed, there are many people that they are not in classes. So whenever they come or they join to classes, they are asking the same because they didn't pay attention to the previous classes. So that it is, that is what it is. And my job and my responsibility is to explain it again. It's not to yeah. just to say sorry, <laughs> but you know, oh, you're yes, a but, teacher. But, but I know, and I know. that's the difficult part <laughs> for you yes. for you as a student. It's a difficult part. For, for, for this reason, I don't have to, I don't have to do, I don't have to uh, tell you, I don't have to uh, guardar silencio. I, I have, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You, you to need to keep silence. silence. Keep yeah, silent. But, I, I don't know because I, I understand is your work. Is the if the you the know it's our job. Ask, <laughs> uh, if if the student asks, we are we are the teacher have to explain, explain, explain again, explain. no matter yes. how long <laughs> but, that's their job. But for me, for 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 me. For the students, it's know. difficult this. Yes, I know yeah. it's difficult. That happens to me a lot as a teacher. Previously, it, it was that was happening for a long time. You know, it was happening like for five, it happened for five months and it was difficult because at the end, it was disturbing the learning process of the, uh, in that case, it was worse because it was just for one person. But it's not, not in this case, it was a long time ago, like a year ago with another course. Just for one student, we suffered <laughs> five months. And wow. I felt my students were so frustrated because of this. But that at the end, you know what? That's what that's what I hated a lot. It is because at the end that a student uh, decided to quit. She didn't continue with the cars. Oh my God, I said, and it was like, okay, anyways. But those situations happen. Um, uh, Christian, I thank you a lot because I knew that was happening with you. I knew that there are many situations like that with any other participants. I know it because I notice it's noticeable. It's noticeable. And um, what I would say right now, Christian, is to continue. Like you keep trying, you keep you keep participating because that's gonna be helping you. I don't know if you have noticed. I'm sorry if I will say this, but I'm sorry if you have noticed Jaime. There was one course that he was not participating at all. And then I said, Jaime, why this is why are you doing this? Please participate. And then he stopped learning. There was a big chance whenever he didn't participate. And now that he has started to participate again, there is a great difference because he continued growing up. So at the end, I understand that what I will, uh, my best advice for you, Christian, will be not to pay attention to this and you continue participating as much as you can and learning as much as you can, asking questions if you have the questions as much as you can, because at the end is your learning, is your learning process, yes. right? So um, I believe that that can be that can be one of the things that we can do and obviously we will continue um like putting in practice more this language this course will be different on that 
Believe me, it's gonna be different because it should be different right now. I told you previous class, I told you previous previous course, right? That the, the teacher you will have, that should be different. And in that case, since I am the same teacher, I know your, learn, your learning process and now I know your level. So now, it, like in Spanish, um, we normally say, vamos a socar la pita. <laughs> now, yes, we, we will do it. So thank you a lot for your comment. That means a lot for me, Christian. And if you have any comments, any other doubts, any question, any other thing, feel free to tell me, okay? Because this is what help us in the class. Okay. If you don't say anything, it is like, okay, everything is good. And that's weird that everything is good. Something might be happening there, okay? If not, okay. there's something wrong. <laughs> so I really yeah. like those kind of feedbacks and those kind of comments because that helps us as a teacher to have a different perspective of the class. So thank you a lot, Christian. And I don't know if you might be having any other question. I don't want to continue teasing you here. <laughs> no questions, no uh, comments? No. Let's continue participating, Christian. I want to hear you more, okay? Because at Teacher. the end, I, I really, I, I would like that you continue growing and you, you will be the best of the class. That's my purpose for all of you, okay? <laughs> so okay. I hope you have an amazing night, Christian, and nice to hear you, okay? Thank you, Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.